Hi, I'm Mary Plummer from Ripple Training, here to show you the Groove Track in Logic Pro 10. In this project, I have three tracks, a drummer track, a MIDI keyboard track, and a guitar track. The keys and guitar were recorded at the same time to a click track and drummer. Let's listen to see how they sound together, and feel free to laugh. I did. Okay, I think you get the idea that they are disastrously out of time. This is what we call a musical train wreck. I'm going to trim the head of my MIDI region so I have room to realign the starting point of my instrument tracks to see if that helps. I know my drummer track is in time, so I'll zoom in and use my playhead as a guide to move the first note of the instrument regions to the first beat of bar 2. This way I'm confident that all the tracks are starting in time with each other at bar 2. Let's listen and see if that worked. So the tracks were in time for about a measure and a half. Now I'll employ the Groove Track, which is currently hidden. Just right-click any track header, and in the menu choose Track Header Components, Groove Track. This is actually a very powerful feature that lets you choose which track will carry the rhythm and which tracks will follow. The Groove Track controls are hidden under the track number. First, you need to select which track is the star that carries the groove. Make sure it's a track that is actually keeping good time. The other tracks will have checkboxes to join in or opt out. Look carefully at the keyboard and guitar regions when I enable the groove track, and you'll actually see the notes move into time with the drummer track. Let's hear it in playback. Wow, how is that possible? Well, most of it happens under the hood, but if you take a look in the editor, just press E, you'll see that the MIDI region has been quantized, which means the notes have automatically been aligned to the grid. Watch closely as I toggle the groove track on and off. And in the audio region, the flex time algorithm has been applied. On and off. Okay, I'm going to hide the editor. And now that you know where the groove track is and how to use it, you can try it on your own tracks. Stay tuned for more in-depth lessons on working with flex time and quantizing tracks. I'm Mary Plummer, and thanks for watching.